Let's go back to Action News 8 reporter Phil Gomez. He's live in Scotts Valley where Cal Fire held a briefing this morning on the latest with the CZU Lightning Complex fire. Phil, what's the latest? Well, firefighters took advantage of the cooler weather and less winds to take a small advantage over this blaze. More firefighter help is on the way. That includes the National Guard. But lightning is also on the way here. The wildland fire burning in Santa Cruz and San Mateo counties has burned 71,000 acres and is 8% contained. Better mapping has given a more accurate accounting of the number of acres consumed. So far, 129 structures and homes are destroyed. A couple of hours ago, red flag warning went into effect. It means there could be new fires and more high winds. The biggest concern with the red flag warnings is how that weather is going to affect the fire itself. Um, the, the, one of the other concerns is we have dry lightning that is um, predicted with this wind event that's coming in. So um, the potential for that wind to surface and really um, increase the fire behavior in the area is um, a drastic concern because it can basically push embers and, and blow the fire out in the areas that we've already contained. The city of Santa Cruz is preparing for the worst, but remain cautiously optimistic that its community of 65,000 residents won't need to evacuate. Even so, they're asking the community to be prepared for the worst. And of course, looting and thievery is a big concern. One Cal Fire uh, uh, firefighter had his uh, wallet stolen out of his truck and his account was emptied. So that is a big concern in the area still. And most of these people are, um, well, it's a mix of people both living here and uh, from outside the community who are doing these uh, thefts. Alani? All right, Phil, thank you. Again, very tragic.